Okay, so let's have a look at part B for the 2020 exam paper question 9, Houghton. So part B is looking at prepare a raw materials purchase budget in units and pounds or euros for Houghton Limited for the first four months, July to October. So these two pieces of information are going to be important here for the production budget. So each product requires 4 kg of material X. So that's going to help us to calculate how many kgs we need and then for the euros then we're going to multiply by three euro per kg to find out what's the total cost of requiring that material x and then stocks of raw materials sufficient for 20 percent of the following month's requirements in kgs are held at the end of the month so that's going to be a closing stock so your layout again is going to be pretty much like what we had for part a so you're going to have our months june or july august september october november we're going to have the units of production. Now they're going to be taken from part A that we just did. So these units that we calculated in part A, these are the units that we're going to be finding out how much of material X we need for them. You're going to have material per unit. So how much, how much material we need. So that was 4 kg. And that's going to tell us how much we need required for production of that material itself. Then we're going to add our closing stock. Remember, it's taken from the question. So 20 months 20% of next month's kg so we're going to find what August requirement is we're going to get 20% of it that's going to find us what the closing stock is we're going to add that on to July and then we come to August then we're going to take it away because we have it already that's going to give us how much kgs we need to purchase and then the euro then three euro per kg will give us the cost of raw materials and we'll use that when we come to part D so let's start this off with the first part. So the unit of production, we're going to take these figures that we calculated in part A. So 18,360 for July. For August, it was 11,720. For September, we calculated it to be 11,660. 860. For October, we calculated 12,080. And for November then, we calculated it to be 12,320. The next thing then, material per unit. So it tells in the question that we need each product unit requires 4 kgs of material X, which costs 3 euro. So these are the number of units that we need to produce. So to produce them, we need 4 kg of material X. So we're going to multiply them by each other. So 18,360 multiplied by 4. 11,720 multiplied up by 4. 11,860 multiplied up by 4. 12,880 multiplied up by 4. And 12,000. 320 multiplied up by 4 and that's going to tell us how much of that material we need to help us produce these products that these units that we calculated as part A. Then your closing stock says taken from the question so it tells in the question that your stock of raw materials sufficient 20% of the following month's requirements in kgs. So we just calculated the requirement for kgs for July, August, September, October, November. So for July, we need to have 20% of next month's. So next month's is 46,880. We're going to multiply that by 20%. Then for, for August, we're going to use September, which is 47,440. Multiply that by 20%. September is going to be the same, so we're going to use August 48,320, multiply that by 20%. October then, we're going to use November's, which is 49,280, multiply that by 20%. So that's why we used November here and in part A. So we got 12,320 to help us calculate what our closing stock is for November. Now it's telling us in the question that we only have to do it for four months. So we have to do it for the first four months for part A and for part B as well. But we need November's units 
to help us calculate the closing stock for October. So we're going to add these on to our requirements. So that's going to tell us what is the total amount of that material that we need for that month. And because in the question it says that we need 20%, well, we're going to take that away then as part of our open stock then for the next month. So our open stock is our closing stock from the previous amount or from the previous period. We don't know what our closing stock was for June, so we're going to put in zero. We're going to take them away. August, we know our closing stock is 9,376. For September, our, sorry, our open stock is 9,000. 9, 488 because that's our closing stock from the previous period and for October then the same as well our open stock is going to be 9664 okay so we're taking these away because we would have had them produced in the previous period and that's going to give us the amount of material x that we need to help us produce these products and we, because in the question, it's asked us to do it in units and euro. So it tells in the question how much it costs us for each or for material X. And it says it's 3 euro per kg. So we're going to multiply our required for purchase. So we need to purchase 82,816 kgs of material X for July. That's going to cost us. 248,448 euros. So for August, we need 46,992 kgs of material X. The material X per kg costs us 3 euro. So we're going to multiply them together. It's going to tell us what's going to cost us. We're going to do the same for September. And we're going to do the same for October. And then we're going to add these up because this is going to be the cost of production that we're going to need to put into our trading account as part of part D. So part B, we the units of production. So we're calculating how much raw materials we need to produce these units that we calculate in part A. So the units of production, they were calculated, they're taken from part A. So it's the totals that we got from part A. We're going to find out how much material X we need to help us produce that. So it tells in the question, that material X. So each product requires 4 kgs of material X. So if you multiply our units by 4, it'll tell you how much of material X that we need. Then it tells in the question that our closing stock has to be 20% of next month's in kg. So in August we got 46,880. We multiply that by 20% and we get our closing stock. So you're going to add that on. And that's going to give us our total. And then for the next month, then we're going to take away our open stock because we would have had it included in our previous period. And also it tells us that we have a percentage of our stock already produced or we already have that material. And then we're going to take that away and that's going to give us the required amount of material X that we need to produce each of these units that we have at the start of the question. And then because each of these materials cost 3 kg, so it's 3 euro per kg. We're going to multiply the amount that we need by 3, and that's going to tell us the total cost for each month. And then if we add them up, that's going to give us a purchases figure that we're going to need for part D of, the, or part D of this question. And that's how we do part B of the 2020 cash budget for how 